Hey guys, welcome to the last episode of the Soul Survival series. I just wanted to quickly let everyone know that my solo only 2x vanilla style server will be wiping tomorrow on Thursday. I will be recording a solo series this wipe if all goes well, of course. So yeah, if you're interested, just search up Sandy Blood and look for it under the modded section or paste the client.connect into the F1 console. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the last episode of the Soul Survival series. I am recording this right after the last episode, which uh, I had just finished finished doing a raid and bringing everything back. I was also crafting a ton of uh, low grade fuel. Like look, we have 525 in here. And then I think over in here, we have like a couple thousand uh, overall. Yeah, we are absolutely loaded with low grade fuel. Now we also have all of these rockets and explosive bullets. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't think we were gonna have this much by the end of the last episode, but we do. We have tons of raiding supplies apart from that i do want to do a bunch of sulfur farming so i can fill this box up with uh explosive bullets and rockets which is why i'm recording now instead of tomorrow morning so i want to do something real quick i was going to bring this over to the bandit camp so i could just gamble uh because i have too much in here and i don't want to like i don't know i like how sorted this box is okay uh but instead i'm gonna go ahead and bring everything and what i want to try to do is buy as many grenades as i can and then recycle it all and to see how much gunpowder we can end up with. This scrap is completely useless to us now since I have everything I want researched. So I'm very interested to see how much uh, gunpowder we can end up with after using all of this scrap. This would be it right here. Okay, you know what? We just spent 80 scrap uh, and we got 10 grenades. Let's see what 10 grenades will give us. Can I recycle them like this or do I need to separate them? Nope. Oh, dude, it actually gives you 15 gunpowder each. That is insane. All right, well, it looks like we're going to be buying a lot more grenades. And that's exactly what I did. In fact, I spent the next hour and 30 minutes doing this. Now, was it worth spending an hour and a half to trade in all of my scrap for gunpowder? I'll talk about that in a moment. But first, about 10 minutes into the recycling, I saw this base that was decaying and I couldn't help myself but to go check it out. And of course, if it's fresh and nobody has seen it yet and there's a locked TC, you should invest a few minutes to destroy it because it is definitely worth it. It's only like the third day. What are you doing quitting already, dude? He has some stuff in here as well. 41 rope. Uh, some more stuff that we can recycle. That is good. Uh, what's most interesting though is the TC. Alright, now we got him. Um, Alright, well, let's get back to base. And uh, I can just check this one satchel. Just to see what this has. And then we will begin running back to base. Okay, not bad at all. Some low grade that I, like, literally, that's the last thing I need at the moment. I just have way too much low grade fuel. Uh, Alright, let's go depot that and we'll continue the bandit camp recycling. I have so much resources in this space, I, I, I don't know what to do anymore. It's, like, way too much. Alright, well, we got everything. We're gonna recycle uh, for extra scrap as well as, I think I can turn this into scrap at the bandit camp if i give it to one of the shop guys uh anyways hopefully the bandit camp isn't angry at me right now because if it is we're about to die a very depressing death but if all goes well then the bandit camp should be okay with us all right let's begin Actually, to be specific, it took around an hour to trade in all of my scrap, which was around 3,000 for grenades to recycle into 5,000 gunpowder. What I then did was grab 664 high qual from my base, which still left me with 500 high qual sitting in my TC. One high quality metal will get you three scrap at the bandit camp. That also took around 30 minutes. So, is it worth it? Well, in the end, I was left with around 9,500 gunpowder. Of course, I also got loads of metal frags, but that's not what's going to decide if it was worth it or not. Everything I traded in was pretty much completely useless to me. There was no need for scrap anymore as I researched everything I wanted, and the 500 high qual left in base, well, that's not gonna go anywhere anytime soon. In that case, then, it's free gunpowder, so of course it's worth it. 
Well, not so much. If I had simply went out and farmed sulfur, I imagine I could get around 12,000 sulfur every 20 minutes, considering I get 600 sulfur for every sulfur node. Keep in mind, I am playing on my solo only 2x vanilla style server. There is more to that, since I will need to cook up all of the sulfur as well as wait for the charcoal needed to craft the gunpowder. To simplify things, let's just say we get 6,000 gunpowder every 30 minutes from actually farming sulfur. That would mean in the hour and 30 minutes it took me to end up with 9,500 gunpowder, I could have gotten nearly double that from farming sulfur instead. That is 13 rockets versus 26 rockets. So no, it's not really worth it. Unless you don't mind crouching in front of a recycler while watching YouTube videos for a little while. Before the old me takes over again, I just wanted to ask you guys two questions because I feel like lately I'm lacking creativity and I'm just not sure what to do in my soul series anymore. So my two questions are, one, what would you like to see rust related but not soul survival? stuff and two what would you guys like to see throughout a solo series please put your answers in the comments below and be sure to upvote the comments from those you agree with okay that's all for that back to the video but yeah look at all of that GP dude one two three four five six seven eight nine not exactly 12,000 but that's nearly 10,000 gunpowder oh someone's building a base right here No, thank you. Oh, I don't want somebody building next to me. I could raid him real quick, but I don't really want to. Um, okay, let's bring back some low-grade fuel and go on top of dome. I got one of these. That looks nice. All right, let's put half in there. It's, okay, I, I love lag. Let's put half in there and let's get to dome. Hopefully there are some crates. It doesn't look like there is. Yeah, there are none. Uh, before we do train yard, actually, let's go look for some sulfur nodes. I'm seeing a couple sulfur nodes around here. Let's go ahead and grab them real quick. I'm only going to need about... To be honest, I don't even know. I'll probably just farm up like 4,000 sulfur. Alright, that's enough. Uh, I see a green crate, so that's a good sign. No pipes. This guy in a boat should head. Oh, he went to sleep, dude. No, don't quit the game. Okay, you can quit the game. Never mind. He had a lot of stuff on you. But no pipes? Really, dude? You're gonna tell me that you have no pipes on you. Oh, feels bad for Lucas. Alright, well, let's get back to the minicopter. And I guess we can go to the train yard since it's so close to base. To see if there are any pipes there. And at the same time, we'll be able to look at dome. Maybe the crates might have respawned. I don't know when was the last time somebody went there. Alright, let's go check out the dome and the train yard. Yeah, no crates. Oh, bad idea. I threw my hazmat suit earlier as well, and I'm getting mad lag spikes, and I have no choice to... Man, I might die here. Totally forgot about needing a hazmat suit. Uh, let's see if I can race home. Alright, looks like we'll be able to enter back uh, in base. Just gonna walk my way inside my base. Okay, well, we didn't get lucky at all for pipes. That is quite unfortunate. All right, let's go ahead and uh, go with a hazmat suit. All right, let's do this. Hopefully not getting camped. I'm gonna check around my base because they know I have a minicopter outside, so they could just wait for me to get on my minicopter. No one's out here. Okay. Some P2 shots. Sounds like behind me. Nothing yet again. Good enough. And there's crates. Cool. Uh, now we actually need to get lucky with pipes. Nothing. Pipes. We got lucky. More pipes. Beautiful. Rifle bodies. Okay. Road sign. Okay. Nice. Alright. These are the pipes that I have. I have all of this gunpowder. And I only have 15 sulfur. But then I should have... Nearly a thousand each, and I should have a lot of GP right here. So let's go ahead and see how many rockets we can make. All right, so overall, I have all of these rockets crafted, uh, and then all of this over here, plus a bunch of explosive ammo, 
Now, I did kill someone off camera, unfortunately, and I got like a full metal kit. Uh, where is it? It's like in here somewhere. Well, anyways, I have a full metal kit uh, right here plus an LR, so that was pretty cool. But yeah, I'm going to bring over uh, all of these rockets over here. So this is enough to go through four stone walls, like layers of stone walls, uh, to raid this one base that I've been thinking about raiding since, uh, well, ever since he was roof camping me the first time, and uh, I've never seen him leave his roof. So this might be a challenge. He's obviously good at defending his own base, uh, even when people are like miles away. But we're going to go check out his base first, see if it's worth raiding. I believe he is active, but I'm not exactly sure. Uh, and we'll just go from there. So I'm going to head over to that base and place down these two turrets. Man, I am uh, I'm a little bit anxious because this guy has a huge base. But it's the only guy that is fully metal uh, and active currently. This guy- Oh god. All right, well, uh, that's the dude that I killed actually earlier for this set of gear. So he got pretty much what I got from him back. Uh, I got that L96 from him as well. So whatever, dude, fair enough. If you need to door camp on the fourth day of the wipe, hey, you do you. What I am going to do now, though, is uh, we're not going to put down turrets. We're just going to go ahead and raid this guy. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and do it. All right, let's see if he's door camping me. Hopefully he isn't. Oh, of course, he is back to door camping me. Well, hey, you tried and you gave me a ton of meds, so I can appreciate that. Thank you very much. All right, got my rocket launcher and all my rockets. We're just going to go into this guy and raid him. All right, doesn't look like he's camping us. Should be okay to run there. Uh, the problem is, is that the server is currently at its peak in population. So I'm hoping we won't have too many problems when doing this. And I think the guy may actually be active that we're about to raid. Is this stupid? Like, this is stupid, isn't it? I feel like you have some sort of influence on me. I feel like you've made me do this. Me? Yeah, like, just your existence is making me want to raid this guy right now. <laughs> I don't, I'm like, what? The only way I can think of that might be a good way of raiding this thing is right here through, through those four walls. But I'm not sure. I'm really hoping he's not active, because I think he is. If he is, then we're about to get destroyed, probably. Maybe, maybe back here. Okay, this, this would be the best place, I think. Is that good? Yep, that's perfect. Here we go, dude. All right, so that is one. Looks like we've got a loot room up here with absolutely nothing. Good start. Not sure how to raid this. I don't know if I want to go through the top or the bottom right here. I think the bottom would still be a good place to go through. I'm not entirely sure here. There's a guy all the way down there who has... I don't know what kind of gear set that dude has, but he is not looking at me anymore. Anyways, I'm going to continue shooting rockets. We're going to go through here. Uh, workbench level two with a bag. Okay, we'll shoot right in this. Actually, I don't know if that's a good place because I can just pick that. I'm still going to do it though because I don't have time to pick. This is also wood, so it should break immediately. Or not. Oh, it's at 30 HP. He's offline with a rocket launcher on. Oh my god. Okay. Yikes. Okay, this is this is a uh, this is turned into an issue. I don't have the TC, so oh, I do have the TCs right here. Uh I need to break it. I wish I brought explosive. Wait, he does have explosive bullets on him. I'm editing this right now and there's nothing that makes me cringe more than my own reaction to finding good loot. Like 2 weeks ago, I was playing with Wellen and this was my reaction. Oh my god, look at this. Dude, that is insane. I've never like I don't think I've well, yeah, I have. But that is insane. As you can tell, I'm really bad with reactions, by the way. <laughs> um, oh, the heli's coming in. All right, well, I just want to destroy the TC and build my own. Does he have any wood, though? Please tell me you have at least some wood. You don't. Then this has become an issue now that we're getting shot from the heli as well. Are you kidding me? All right, well, I'm throwing a C4 in here because I don't want to get rocketed. All right, we can hide in here now. All right, we're good. I don't have any wood, though. He's dead. Let's hide for a second. I know he's not the only person. There's absolutely more people. Hopefully he has some wood on him or something that I can use. All right, you have a bunch of syringes. If we can get that tree right up front with any tool here, then that would be great. We can probably put down a turret though if we can get this TC, which I'm going to do that. Uh, hopefully the TC will actually have wood. We're hit really badly. 
we're good for now. I definitely did not down him either. I shot him, body shot. He is down. We got him. All right, time to put in these bullets and turn this on. This will help us out a little bit and I'm going to heal up. Oh, someone's here. And he is dead. Let's check for wood. I'm going to need to break this box. Uh, how do I break this efficiently? I'm going to use one more syringe actually real quick. He does have a salvage axe. I could get wood, but I'm going to just check right now if this has any wood in the TC. And there's a little bit of wood. We'll be able to patch this up and make a door right here. We're going to make two. Did I just see someone? No, I didn't. All right, we got a door down and a key lock. All right, we're good for now. Uh, let's add another one though. All right, we're good. We got it secured. Uh, not totally secured though, which is, I'm actually kind of happy I went through this door. Unless I went through this door as well. I'm not sure what I did there, but I'm kind of glad there's a missing doorway here because then I can go ahead and put my own door, which means that this loot room is secured from whoever uh, lives in the space. So trying to come to me. What is this guy name? His name is Vaughlin. All right, there we go. We'll put down another one just in case. I'm going to close this. Uh, let's start grabbing this stuff. Yeah, this is definitely profit. The only issue is that it's all explosive bullets and I hate explosive bullets, but still that is definitely profit. And how many rockets did we use in total? I think it was eight in total and we got in and there's like nine, 10 in here. So that is uh, definitely GG's made profit for sure. He's got some pipes, which I do need. Uh, now getting out of here is going to be painful. Oh, you know what? I haven't done a TC. I need to craft the TC immediately. There's people outside though. Um, I have a few issues here because I can't really make a TC. I'm going to grab, uh, I'm going to make a bag as well for here. And we're going to have to figure that, that out real quick. I really need wood. Uh, I'm going to have to push out there. All right, uh, let's close this. I kind of want to add another door right here actually. And I did see a garage door somewhere. I forgot where. We'll just use that. Let's go ahead and just do it, dude. That is definitely not the guy with the gun. There's a SAR guy out here somewhere, wherever he is. Uh, but anyway, screw him. I'm going to get some wood so I can actually make a TC. All right, that should be enough. Yeah, it is. A little bit more would have been nice, but let's get the TC down ASAP. We're going to place down the TC back over here. Is there anything here that I need? That's ours. Nice. Let's start grabbing the stuff that we're going to bring over to the base. All right, so this is the first inventory that I'm going to run back to base with. A bunch of explosive bullets. Uh, our rockets are still in the boxes, but I'm going to go ahead and put this all in here first and get rid of whoever's outside and then focus on bringing this stuff back. So you and you. All right, let's start grabbing the stuff. And hopefully we don't get jumped because if we do by a guy with the DB like that, then that would not be good. All right, we're ready. Let's do this. What a crazy freaking raid, dude. That is insane. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, put all this away and head back over. For the rest of this video, I transferred all of the loot from the base that we just raided over to my base. I brought back everything I wanted and called it a night. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. At this point into the wipe, it just feels unnecessary to continue playing. It becomes this big old circle of doing the same thing over and over again, which is just raiding people. And for what reason? Well, I guess the thrill, but there's no thrill when you're just so rich that if you die doing the raid, it doesn't matter. I don't know, but I figured this is where it would be perfect to end off the series doing one of the best raids I've ever done in Rust. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Peace.